Not yet, sir. Okay. At least one of the members is out of town and uh, intends to give advice on this. Uh, again, this has not been introduced and is draft legislation um, to amend the charter to resolve the issue of the tie. What do you guys think? Well, I think this is what we, when we met with the Board of Election, this is what we decided. I think it's well written. There were some other things we decided. Are we going to eventually get to that legislation? I know this is the, really the important one, but there were some other things that the Board of Election wanted taken care yes, of. Yes, uh, can you refresh my memory? I, I haven't written down well, my, my phone. Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I took notes. So I had the clerk pull the minutes from that meeting. Uh, I don't have yeah, it that's, that's what I'm assuming there's. Mr. Mayor, I can send the whole council. That would be useful. So yes. the, the, when the Board of Elections met with us here, uh, I had the clerk pull them when I was looking at drafting this, oh, make okay. sure they were in agreement yeah. generally. Yeah, uh, but, I, I yeah. think this meets what they asked, or what they wanted, and it meets what So I'm going to throw a monkey wrench into it now. Okay. I was talking to Councilman Linda Camp Saturday morning. So what this does is creates another election between parties who are either on the council or running for mayor that ends up in a tie like we had in November a year ago. The uh, recent, uh, the, the, our neighbor town of Perryville recently added their requirement as to how to resolve a tie vote of their council. And their solution was a coin flip. Less costly, less ideal in terms of, it's not as satisfying to hear another election, but it saves ten or fifteen thousand dollars, and you get a resolution the day the election results are certified. I think that's a horrible <laughs> idea. I'm sorry. I think that, and the board of elections said the people need to speak, and a coin flip is not the people speaking. That's chance. So and I think, I mean, the, yeah, I think the, the people need who's the coin. to speak. Well, let the city manager do it. Yeah, right. And so all that stuff is. I mean, what do you think, Calvin? Look at. I thought about it after we met too. How about if um, if the council just voted on the two people at the time? They both come before the council and the council just votes on them. I will tell you that there have been towns that have used that and then they have had to go back to doing an election. Why? Because it, well, I, probably because the people said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I, that's not my vote. Mm. I think the people have the right to cast that vote. No, you, so you're taking that right. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's not taking it away. It's not, so, the, 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 and I'm not saying I want to propose that. What I'm saying is that we got to make sure that if, if we're going to be changing the charter, that it's something that we really want to execute. I think right? the board of Edu the board of elections was really clear. They did not want a coin flip. <laughs> I, I hear you, but just to be clear, the board of elections does not set policy. Right? I they, agree. They, they enact the policy. They follow the charter, and so we would be setting the rules by which they conduct elections. Um, and so. I think it's important that we that we're thoughtful with this, and I think we have been thoughtful. And, and I'm not saying we're not thoughtful, uh, and we've deliberated on it. We've met with all the parties. We just got to make sure that we're making a good decision. Um, another thing to be concerned about, and I haven't gotten feedback from the Aberdeen Board of Elections or the Harford County Board of Elections yet, uh, but the 30-day timeline. I want to make sure that they're satisfied with uh, to comply with all the elections baloney they have to satisfy with providing ballots in multiple languages and paper and all this stuff. Because I thought the Board what of Elections, they, when we what said did the 30, state tell us we had to? Did the state specify that it had to be settled within a certain time? The board, uh, the Maryland State Legislature last session passed a law uh, that me and I think the city manager looked up, me and somebody looked up, and what it reads is that a council has to have a solution to a tie. So it was just making a law. <laughs> it was not. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. so but I, I think when that. we had that discussion, we wanted it to be a short time. We didn't want it to drag well, I think on. when I brought it up, I said 60 days, and the board well, one of the things said that might not be long enough, enough time. Yeah. It was it, I think it might have been Chairman Schlotman. Uh, yeah, because at yeah, first he was a little bit change. He kept one of the things that the that the Board of Election asked for is that we didn't invest into the offices until January, in which case this doesn't resolve that either. the month takes care of that. So that by the time it comes time to swear the candidates in, it would be resolved. So the elections in November, the inauguration or whatever you want to take into the oath, it would be in January. And so if there's a tie, that's why they put the month in there. It would be settled by the time it comes. Everybody
everybody goes in at the same time. So I have a proposal for how to proceed. I propose that on Monday at our regularly scheduled meeting, we introduce this charter amendment as submitted here. Yeah. And we make sure we bounce it off of all of the relevant players, uh, make sure we get input from the public at a, a public hearing to be scheduled. Um, and then I think there should be. And then, if, yeah, absolutely. And then, and then, if there's amendments to it, we can make those amendments before adoption. And then, uh, whatever, 50 days after that, it'll become the charter of the city. Yeah. Sounds good. But as it's here, nobody has like hair ripping opposition to it. Mm -hmm. No, I think this is right. good. Good, good, good. That's what I like to hear. Everybody's happy then. Okay. Are we, are we done with that for now, Dan? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, that was that. We have.